In this video, we're being asked to rotate this bounded region about the y-axis. Let's go ahead and do a preliminary sketch over here on the left. So let's think about y as negative x squared plus 4. So everyone knows that negative x squared looks like this. It's like an upside down parabola. And because we're adding 4, that means we're going to take the graph and shift it up by 4. So this here is going to be 4. And then it comes down like this, and it crosses the x-axis. If you plug in 2, you end up with 0. And if you plug in negative 2, you also get 0. So this is 2 and negative 2. OK, we also have these lines, y equals 0 and x equals 0. y equals 0 is this horizontal line, and then x equals 0 is this line here. So we're just going to focus on this piece here. And we're spinning it about the y-axis. So we're taking this region here and spinning it about the y-axis. Usually we're concerned with areas in the first quadrant. So we're just taking this picture and spinning it. So let's go ahead and draw our picture, but make it bigger. So there's the y-axis, there's the x-axis, and here is our curve. And we know that this is 2 and this is 4. And we're spinning it here at the y-axis. Let's go ahead and use the shell method in this problem. So whenever you're using the shell method, your rectangles are always parallel to the axis. So our rectangle has to look like this. And because we have a vertical rectangle, we have functions of x. And so now we'll identify h of x and p of x. So this is h of x. It's the length of the long part of the rectangle. So h of x is the length of the long part. And p of x is the distance between the skinny part and the axis, so little p of x. So h is just this function here, so 4 minus x squared. So h of x is 4 minus x squared. And this distance here is simply x. So p of x is equal to x. So the volume is equal to 2 pi. And we're integrating with respect to x, so we're going from 0 to 2, so from 0 to 2. And the formula says you just multiply p and h, so x, and then 4 minus x squared. And then we still have the dx. And via magic, this is equal to 8 pi, the magic of a calculator. So I hope that video made sense.